Looks like we've got a call coming in, Captain. Let me put it through. Captain, I heard about your fantastic success with Noctrain. I always thought his fortune was a myth. Armus Polleran, right? From Coruscant. What's this about? I'm touched to remember. You've come so far since then, with very little to work with. I have a business proposition for you, but I'd rather discuss it face to face. Come to Port Nowhere, Captain. Floating Cantina, not far from you. I'll send the specs. Seems like a safe location, Captain. But we need to be careful. The Imperials are getting more gutsy. There's nowhere in Republic space that's safe anymore. I don't think the Empire is dangerous exactly makes headlines. I'm serious. I caught a signature when we were on Nar Shaddaa that looked like the Void Wolf. Someone I should know about? The man's a monster. Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill. Former slaver, scourge of the Outer Rim and all-around charmer. My father always kept a close eye on him. The Void Wolf's got delusions of taking over the Underworld, handing it to the Empire wrapped in ribboned. <coughs> then let's hit Port Nowhere fast and see if we can get out of his way. Taking a wild guess that my life just got a new kind of complicated. Captain. I never thought I'd see you here. Thought you were too good for a small time crooks in Port Nowhere. Once you got your hands on Noctrayan's ship, woohoo! Can I buy you a drink? Get some pointers? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Careful. You're drooling on the rug there, buddy. Actually, I am not the only one who's been waiting. So. I've been hearing your name for a while now. Almost as long as you've been hearing mine. Logan. They call me the Butcher. You lost a blaster shipment of mine some time back. And I don't remember ever getting an apology. How about it, Captain? You know how to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Skavik was the man to blame for that, and he's dead. Plenty of blame to go around. I'm generous that way. No one steals from me and lives, boy. And you're not running away this time. My men have your hangar locked down tight. I'll give your men one chance to surrender. After that, it's for keeps. Are you crazy? There's like a hundred guys in here. All right, open season. A hundred thousand credits to the man who brings me his head. Done deal, boss. Start moving the funds. This will hurt you a lot more than me.
Captain! Good thing you're prompt, or I'd be a dead man. The second we got off the link, Rogan's men turned up. We don't often see this sort of thing in the Galactic Senate. You were impressive, Captain. Almost worth getting kidnapped for. This is Senator Beverett O'Donna. I work with her now. Ra ra! Hail the Republic! Etc. Etc. What's a senator want with someone like you? I've been investigating how the Republic can make better use of independent minded soldiers of freedom. Which is why Rogan tried to shut us down. He's an Imperial lackey. His whole criminal empire answers directly to Imperial command. There's an Imperial fleet waiting out there. Rogan's men were going to deliver us to the Imperials. This isn't that guy, is it? The, uh, slaver with the stupid name? The Void Wolf, and I wouldn't say that to his face. My father didn't fear much, but he never messed with the Void Wolf. He's got contacts in every major gang. Rogan's one of his biggest assets. Well, once they're both dead, we won't have to keep track. And if you accept my offer, you won't have to take him on alone. The Republic is looking for men and women of action. Patriots without the restriction of a trooper's uniform. How would you like a commission from the Galactic Senate? Authorizing you as a privateer naval captain, tasked to target Imperial forces at will. Go where I want, kill bad guys, and be the hero? I'd be a fool to say no. Then by the power vested in me by the Galactic Senate, I hereby swear you in as a true servant of the Republic, privateer. Now, don't you wish you'd showered and shaved before we came? It's a straightforward deal. We give you targets, cargo, the job we need done, and all the support we can covertly provide. In return, we look the other way about any laws you break, or private gains you make along the way. The Republic can count on me. Oh, aren't we noble and selfless all of a sudden? Don't worry, I know a born liar when I see one. So I'll check up on you. Often. Our top target right now is Balmora, one of the most likely hotspots for open war to be declared. Is there anyone in the galaxy who still thinks we aren't at war? The longer we lie, the more people live. I know we're waiting until they're on planet for the full briefing. But maybe in a word? Balmora used to supply half the Republic's military resources. Now it's occupied by the Imperials, and all that technology is going to the... Empire! Empire! Imperial fleet to Clout's port side! No! Ah! Starboard side! They're all around us! It's the Void Wolf! Ah! Get your ship. Get back to Crusoe. You two, get out of here! I'll try to jump this whole tub before they board us. Go! I think we made it through before the noose tightened. And I'm glad you did the same, Captain. I'll stay and make sure Port Nowhere doesn't land in any more of Rogan's or the Void Wolf's little parties. You can think of her as a safe harbor. Thanks for letting me in on this. I couldn't think of anyone better to suggest to the Senator. And don't think this is all about serving the Republic, either. There's a fortune to be made in this war. An enterprising individual could end up with a criminal empire to rival Rogan. If I can help the Republic, that's enough for me. No reason you can't do both. There's a power vacuum in the underworld where the big name's gone. Not Dre and the Hatchet Ivory. But I have a feeling you'll be up there one day. 
Just keep in mind, when you're on Balmora, the opportunities are there. You just have to take them.